So listening to Jesus can be good news. It doesn't have to be something extremely mystical or weird. You know, like those interesting characters on the subway who will tell you they're the voice of God on that particular day. Listening to Jesus can be as simple as changing our perception just enough to pick up on the voice of God still speaking to us in our world today. I love it when you come to me and tell me your stories. Sometimes they're really amazing and miraculous. A groom will tell me that he actually felt he heard a voice from the heavens say to him, this girl is the one for you on a first date. Or one man I knew who was an ER nurse was just heading into the grocery store when he heard a voice that seemed to come from somewhere deep inside say to him, no, don't go that way, turn and go that way. And when he did, he just happened to see the feet of someone who had fallen down between two parked cars. And nobody would have seen this person, but he got there immediately and gave this man CPR and saved his life. And once I knew a local town official who was minding his own business, just sitting there at midnight mass, when he had this epiphany while singing a Christmas carol, out of the blue, it came to him that the town could use a vacant building the city owned to open a homeless shelter. But listening to Jesus doesn't have to be that spectacular. We could just use a traditional faith practice like attending church or doing some silent listening prayer. Some of us I know have practiced what Dave Buchan called African Bible study or what others of us know as Lectio Divina. That's just when you read scripture several times, maybe aloud, and just listen to it for a word or a phrase that jumps out to you to catch your attention. And then we can spend some time just thinking about that word or phrase to see how it might connect with our daily lives. And then if it connects, to ask God if it might have a message for us in it. At other times, I think the voice of Jesus comes to us just as a kind of gut feeling to do something a little different, to, to volunteer for something new or voice a new idea to a committee. And the good news about speaking words like that that come to us in a group setting is that the group is there to help us with our discernment, to check our perception. So here's the thing, listening to other people in a committee meeting might be listening to Jesus. Who would have expected a miracle like that in a church meeting? <laughs> Stewardship, I know, experienced that recently when we brought an early idea for our spring campaign to the church council. And, and after a really good discussion, people did speak the truth as they were hearing it in their hearts. They spoke that truth in love to one another, and together we discerned that it was not the best direction to take. And some of us have heard the voice of Jesus in the random remark or kind word from a stranger or from a child. I experienced that this past week as I sat down at a charity breakfast and met someone new. She just happened to say something to me that I don't think she considered especially profound, but it jumped out at me because I had heard others say almost exactly the same thing about two times earlier in the week. I consider those coincidences important because sometimes I think Jesus has to repeat the message to us a couple of times to be sure that we are listening. But thanks be to God that the Holy Spirit keeps on trying to get the good news through to our busy minds and stubborn hearts. God is still speaking. Amen.